tortured his son to death over several years in a small box and is hailed for it. And uh, know that uh, you've got to get evil people to run a criminal government. And so a lot of their frontline people and a lot of their technocrats and even high-level people are part of pedophile guilds. And so what they're doing is they're legitimizing uh, that parents can't talk to their children, can't dry their children off in England with a towel without being government registered to touch their child. So see, they make everybody else a pedophile for no reason. And then they teach the children in the U.S. and England how to not just have gay sex uh, when they're six, seven years old, but how to do things like inserting giant dangerous implements in themselves. And I can't even, I mean, there's recordings of what, in Massachusetts, they teach elementary school students that, that, that I actually played on air about 10 years ago, and a few affiliates dropped us. I mean, it was small children brought to a college dormitory and put in beds, and, and, and then the school taught them how to have sex with each other. Uh, and whether it's heterosexual, homosexual, whatever, it shouldn't be going on, and it's wrong. But I have to say, it is the, quote, gays that are pushing uh, homosexual sex. And so it seems that because that's a protected group, they're allowed to engage in pedophilia. Uh, we're going to go live right now. Here we go. This is the end, my only friend, the end of our on screen, I'm holding up an article that reads, Teach the pleasure of gay sex to children as young as five, say researchers. Yes, we are uh, shifting from Israeli, U.S., British, and Al-Qaeda Wahhabists, killing and murdering Iranian police, killing doctors, nuclear experts, blowing things up. and it's they, Our government brags about it in newspapers. And now we've shifted gears into... Um, this, and this is going on in the U.S., this is going on in England. I covered this a decade ago, and I can't even really read this on air, even though it's out of a major newspaper. Uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's homophobic to say you shouldn't teach children as young as five that it's wonderful to have gay sex. Now, if you teach them heterosexual sex, that's pedophilia, but because they're a protected group, they do teach this. And it's pedophilia, and it's wrong. And just God help us. Just God help us. Children as young as five should be taught to understand the pleasures of gay sex, according to leaders of a taxpayer-funded education project. And it goes in to say that millions of dollars, 600,000 pounds, just in one program, is being taught in 14 primary schools. They, the parents are told it's part of a stop bullying and prejudice aimed at homosexuals. And then in it, five-year-olds that have never even heard of sex, who are totally innocent, have their minds ruined. And again, I mentioned earlier... The feds in this country, in England, started suicide education in 1990. And then every school that did it saw suicide start. And they teach the little girls, they, so you don't do this, we'll show you how you strangle yourself or how you eat three bottles of Tylenol. Did you know girls kill themselves by going and getting uh, all these different bottles of cold medicines and then it will kill you? But it's painless. You go to sleep. Now we're going to show you the basketball diaries of mass shootings in schools. And then, boom, it all starts. They know. And so, oh, let us teach you how to fist each other. And that's in here. How to bleed. How, to, you know, how a pleasurable it is. Uh, let us teach you how to do this. And then if you say, I don't want that, you are arrested. Because to say you're against it is, and I'm not kidding, just type uh, uh, Prejudice Raids England. Uh, Robin Page, BBC presenter, said that rural communities deserve the same rights as homosexuals, and that word homosexual is illegal if they choose. They have special social network, social services boards. This is not a joke. This is not satire if you're watching this. This is happening. So they just destroy the innocence of these children. And this is part of the recruiting. And, and, and the eugenicists cold-bloodedly do this so people don't pr uh, uh, have children. Procreation. This is about, and then they say this in the 20s. They said, we're going to teach this in schools so people don't have children anymore. And uh, so now they're targeting your children for over a decade. And um, 
I, you know, they're going to corrupt your children. You put them in a government training camp, you're out of your mind. Out, but I'm against heterosexual or homosexual indoctrination of five-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 10-year-olds. But, I mean, this is five-year-olds. And God Almighty, folks, we've played the tapes from the classrooms where they bust the uh, seven, eight, nine-year-olds to college dorms and put them in beds together, and then they teach them and have them. You know, it's, it's open pedophilia. It's now legal in the country. Selectively, the only government can practice open pedophilia. That's why you've had so many Homeland Security state directors, deputy directors caught, because the whole government isn't bad. All the police aren't bad. All the military isn't bad. The whole system isn't corrupt yet, so they keep busting their own people. Texas Youth Commission, giant rape rooms, public rape, raperariums, I've coined a term. I mean, literally, uh, it's just it's just hell has been released. All right. For the last 32 minutes or so, I'm going to take calls right into the break, the behind the scenes. Just go to InfoWars.com if you're an Internet listener, and you can tune into those exclusive screams to hear the behind the scenes. For everybody else, we'll continue uh, after this break, but I'm just doing this when we run out of time. I go into overdrive here. We're very thankful for everybody out there that carries the show. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Jeff in Michigan. Jeff, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. Um, i got to switch uh, topics here for oh, a minute. Oh, well, we're talking about 100 issues. What is it? Um, well, I had a, had a comment about um, what you and Cindy were talking about before you lost her, and I had some movies I wanted to recommend. Uh, first, real quick, I wanted to tell you, I know who El Marco is, if you're interested. But um, uh, as far, we were, Cindy were talking about uh, not wanting to mix uh, religion with the political aspect of it. I understand... Uh, hey, what do you mean you know who Marco is? We have a lot of callers named Marco. El Marco, the guy that tried to set you up in Denver. Oh, my God! Wait a minute, wait a minute. You you know who the guy in the green shirt is or his handler? The guy that went to the cop and said you hit her. Hold on, I want to hear this. Folks, got to go to InfoWars.com. Uh, just too important. We're going to continue here. about this behind the scenes. You'll be able to hear it. For everybody else, we'll be right back with more calls in three minutes. PrisonPlanet.tv. We're, We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Okay, uh, yeah, he runs the uh, Looking at the Left website, right? Right, I... And then, and, 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 and then he's friendly in the videos with the guys in the green shirts who set me up and go, hey, we're buddies with you. Hey, we're hanging out with you. And, and then we learned people associated with them then put out videos trying to falsely claim I'm with those guys from the Patriot perspective, exposing that I staged it all. Just, just looks like a triple black op thing run uh, of deception. I can hardly figure it out, much less the average viewer of YouTube. Uh, but uh, yeah, they come up. Hey, we're with Alex Jones. Hey, kill Michelle Malkin, and, and then and then and then later the media sets me up, and, and then they kind of leave in the same direction as them and are friendly on video with each other. But we want to know who the uh, guys in disguises are who are with them. We know Al Marco goes over and then tells the police knowingly, "Hey, Alex is saying kill Michelle Malkin," when he knows it's not me saying it. Uh, but uh, tell us what you know about him. Well, watching Michelle Melkin's videos, um, she was doing a lot of setups, um, making somebody go out there and talk to some unknowing, uh, you know, college kid who thinks he's a communist or something, and getting him to spill their guts and making fun of it with a video on her on her posting. No, no, she so admitted I, that she got quote attacked the day before too. It was all about setting up provocative actions and then well, going, the guy, "Oh my God, I call for putting everybody in camps, and then I go to real hardcore liberal things, and they don't like me." I'm like, go. But anyway, well, this guy, I recognized him right away as a guy that I used to rent a room uh, to years ago. And uh, I watched all the videos up close, listened to him. It's exactly how the, the man acted, was saying, no, 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 it wasn't me, it wasn't me, no, no, no. And uh, I looked it up. I, I can't find him uh, in the state of Michigan anymore. I looked him up in the, in the United States, and sure enough, there's a guy with his name that lives in Denver. And I, I sent emails, two emails to El Marco, telling him, "I think I know who you are. If you are, you're from Detroit. You know, you owe me this money, and and and, and you're just, you know." I told him, "You you you got to open your eyes and wake up." I told him the whole New World Order, you know, scheme, and and never responded. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And it just well, I'll, I mean, I don't know about all that. I mean, I'm not doubting it, but I don't know about that. I can't confirm or deny that. Well, uh, then I, I got back to him and I said, "Look, I since you you didn't respond, I know exactly who you are," and he, he still didn't respond. So I, I, I looked him up on the on, uh, White Pages. His name is Dave Lanham. L-A-H-A-M. L-L-A-N-H-A-M. Lanham. L-A what? L-A-N-H-A-M. Oh, so he uses a fake name. 
Oh, yeah. Well, El Marco. I remember him talking about something about El Marco way back in the 